वेलकम टू माय क्लास इजी मैथ्स ज्योति आई एस दावणगेरे इट्स ए क्लास फॉर नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स सीबीएसई एंड सीआरटी सिलेबस एंड आल्सो फॉर कर्नाटक स्टेट सिलेबस इन द ट्रायंगल्स एक्सरसाइज 7.1 आई एम द फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम बिफोर गोइंग टू दिस प्रॉब्लम लेट अस हैव सम कांसेप्ट दैट इज सम रूल दैट इज ए टू सॉल्व दिस दिस कॉन्ग्रियंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दैट ए ए एस कॉन्ग्रियंसी Rule: Two triangles are congruent. A and S congruence rule is two triangles are two triangles are congruent if two pairs of if two pairs of angles. of angles and one pair of side one pair of side is equal okay we can say that two triangles are congruent if two pairs of angles any two pairs of angles of a triangle and a pair of side is equal for example two triangles are like this here two pairs of angles any two pair this angle and this angle and if this angle is congruent to this angle equal to that angle and this angle equal to this angle and any angle if this angle is 60 degree if it is also 60 degree then these two triangles are congruent this is a a s congruent zero if we have to consider the any two pairs of angles and one pair of a side are equal in two triangles then according to as congruence rule those two triangles are congruent okay you understood students yes now solve this fifth problem yes plan l is the bisector of the angle a here line l is that is it this is the bisector of angle a angle a is this one this is bisector means it divides equally into two parts therefore this qab is equals to pap understood these two angles are equal and b is any point on l this b is any point on the line l and bp and bq perpendicular from b bp bp is perpendicular from b to the arms arms means this ap and aq bp is perpendicular to this line rm and bq is also perpendicular to this rm of the angle okay therefore these perpendicular means these two angles equal to 90 degree isn't it what we got from the data this angle l side l line l divides angle a into two equal parts and also uh, b is any point on the line and this bp is perpendicular to the one arm and bq is perpendicular to the other arm that means angle b q a and angle b p a are equal to is equals to 90 degrees right that is this that is l divides angle a therefore and um, and uh, therefore qab is equals to therefore qab is equals to bap bap okay then bq perpendicular to one arm bq perpendicular to the angle a r okay bq perpendicular to the angle a r the same bp perpendicular to this implies angle bqa is equals to 
angle PQA is equals to 90 degree. And the same way, BP perpendicular to angle, another angle, BQ perpendicular to another arm of family, another arm, not the same arm, another arm of family, that implies BAP, you got it, sorry, BPA is equal to angle BPA is equal to 90 degree. That is what we got from the data. Now what we have to prove? To prove triangle APB is equal to congruent to triangle APB is congruent to triangle AQB and also BP is equal to BQ. This is what we have to prove. Now Proof. Here we are having proof. Yes, consider two triangles in this. In triangle, which one? APB in triangle. APB and in triangle AQB. Okay, in triangle APB and AQB. What are these? Angles. First angles. BQA is equal to is equal to BPA is equal to BPA that is equal to 90 degree from data data only we did is not it. We concluded angle BQA is 90 degree by using data that is why I am given data. And angle QAB is equal to angle QAB is equal to angle BAP. Yes, BAP. This is because you can say that L divides angle. L bisects L bisects angle A. You can tell like this. Okay, otherwise you can write data. Two angles are equal. And in this, AB is the common side. AB is equal to AB. That is common side. Okay. Here, what we got? One angle, another angle and one arm. Isn't it? Two angles, two pair of angles and one pair of side of equal. Therefore, according to ASA, triangle APB is congruent to triangle AQB. Triangle AQB. The reason is AAS congruence. AAS congruence. Why we are writing AAS? Because here ASA, if for ASA, S should be in the middle of both the angles, isn't it? Here two angles are separate and one side is in separate. Therefore, according to AS congruent, this is proved. And also we proved BP and BQ. BP and BQ. BP and BQ are equal. Why? Come on, tell me. Why these BP and BQ are equal? Because triangle APB is congruent to triangle AQB, that means corresponding parts of the corresponding triangles. These are the corresponding parts BP and BC, BQ. These are corresponding parts of the corresponding triangles. Therefore, according to CPCT, BP is equal to BQ proved. Okay. Let us come to this is the first part we proved, and that is second part. I hope you understood. Let us come to the end of my class. Keep watching my videos. Do subscribe, do share and do like. Thank you for watching students. Okay, bye-bye.